We remember in 2008, when Marende was a speaker of the National Assembly, when everyone thought that the country was going to burn, Parliament stood and united the country through the speaker. Mr. Speaker, you have done so well as a speaker. But I'm sorry, the Speaker of the National Assembly has let us down. Because you cannot be a Speaker of the National Assembly and then over the weekend you put on party colors. To go to meetings, political meetings, make political statements. I'm the kingpin of the lawyer. I am the party leader of this party. We need, we need to have speakers who are impartial, who are uh, independent, Senator, so that they can lead us on the way. Honorable, uh, Honorable uh, Wakoli, my friend, just, just we are reflecting. Just, Allow us just, to reflect. Just, just, just take a seat. Allow us to reflect. Allow us to reflect. Allow us to reflect. Order, Honorable Senator. I am saying this. Senator Osoti. Just take your seat. Honorable Senators, we have started so well. Order, Honorable Senators, before debate started on this particular motion, we said because of the sensitivity and where we are, we allow ourselves to ventilate as much as we can with less interruption. Many of the statements that are going to be made here may touch us not in a friendly way, but yet they have to be said if you are to move forward. So, honorable senators, if we have to move forward, we need to face each other and speak the truth. And ordinarily the truth, no matter the pain that truth may cause, if you are to move forward. And therefore, Honorable Wakoli, when I give you the opportunity, you will have a chance to correct facts that you feel they were not put in the correct fashion. So kindly allow Senator Osochi to complete his uh, intervention and thereafter when you rise you will have that opportunity to put your case as you see, as you deem it fit. Proceed Senator Osochi. Uh. Mr. Speaker, I didn't, uh, I didn't intend to, uh, to hurt uh, my good friend, uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, but this is a moment of reflection, and this is something I've thought. I have seen the, the norms, parliamentary norms, even within the Commonwealth. And uh, it may not be there in the Constitution that the Speaker has to be aligned in some manner. But the norms, the global norms are there. And for us to ensure parliament is respected, let us have the people who preside over the, the house, in this case the speakers, not be involved in active uh, politicking over the weekend. And that is this line that I was taking. And uh, if for any good reason, that I have offended uh, Honorable Wakoli and his party leader. I want to apologize, but to say uh, that I'm reflecting on that. Mr. Speaker, still talking about parliamentary, parliamentary democracy. Mr. Speaker, when you go to National Assembly, and I think even here, 